Hey, John Martinez here. Uh, this is my crazy house. It is 8.11 a.m. Tuesday, December 8th. And I wanted to share with you a little message uh, about sales. Uh, I'm a sales trainer. Uh, I personally train in the real estate investment space. Uh, I've got a team of other trainers who train in every other industry under the sun. But what I want to share with you is something we can learn from one of the greatest emperors really in, in Roman history, Marcus Aurelius. Now, he was what was known as one of the last uh, five good emperors in Rome. And he ruled between, um, I think it was 161 to 180 AD. And I'm going to leave the office here because my kids are kind of drawing on my whiteboard and playing over there. Uh, and I've actually got my seven-year-old filming right now. Uh, hi, Jax. Hi. All right. So anyways, Marcus Aurelius uh, has all these famous quotes from... Um, his journal called Meditations. He never meant for this journal to be released to the public. This was just uh, his personal meditation, what he wrote to himself each day and each night to really become the best emperor, the best man he could be. And one of his famous quotes is something along the lines of what is in the way becomes the way, or what obstructs the way becomes the way, something like that. Uh, obviously, he probably said it much more eloquently uh, using the Roman tongue. But what is in the way, the obstacle becomes the way. And this is how we can take that and apply it to sales. You see, um, think about weight loss, for example, before we even get into sales. Imagine you're trying to lose weight, and you're exercising, and you think you're doing everything right, but for some reason your diet's off, the nutrition is off. You're just not eating the way you need to eat because of it. The weight's not coming off no matter how much you work out. Well, what's in the way? It's your diet. It's your lack of, of knowledge about what to eat and, and when to eat it and how much and that type of stuff. So that's in the way. So if you learn how to diet correctly, if you learn what you need to eat, at what times, in what amounts, that actually becomes the, the key to your success. That becomes the way you can lose weight. Now, in general sales, think of it this way. Um, you might be losing sales because, let's say there's a hidden decision maker. Okay? We call them deal killers in our sales training. But there's a hidden decision maker. Now, if there's a hidden decision maker, that means someone's influencing the decision to buy or not buy, and you have no control. You don't know why they would say yes. You don't know why they would say no. You, you, you can't craft a presentation to something you don't know. You can't address issues you don't know about. So that hidden decision maker is in the way. But once you learn who that decision maker is, to go right, right, questioning, questioning strategies or who that influencer is, that actually becomes your way to win the deal. Now, I personally coach uh, sales for acquisition and real estate investment buying houses, negotiating for houses and other real estate properties for 50 to 60 cents on the dollar. We train them how to do this in under an hour or less. So I want you to imagine that um, when you're doing that, when you're negotiating, buying houses or, or apartment complexes or whatever, and at basically half price, one of the biggest things that stands in the way is people ask themselves, am I leaving money on the table? Is this really, am I getting the most out of it that I can with this kind of quick cash transaction? So that gets in the way and it keeps many, many prospects and, and real estate sellers from saying yes, even if they need to move quickly, even if they need this done, ASAP, and this is the best way for them. So once you can figure out how to negotiate properly and relieve that fear of leaving money on the table, what gets in the way, what is standing in the way, actually becomes the way. This is so important to know because in sales, most salespeople are really scared to bring up anything that might kill a deal. They feel like, if I talk about it, then I'm jinxing myself, and I'm going to talk someone out of doing business with me. And they avoid all the reasons why someone wouldn't do business with them. But what great salespeople understand is what's in the way becomes the way. When we proactively address everything standing in the way, it actually is the way to a deal. It's actually the way we need to take for the sale. So, you know, I know many people are taught Get your prospect to say yes, 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 and don't bring up anything that they say no to. But that's that's complete bull ass. That that BS that has nothing to do with sales. Um, if you want to be a great salesperson, uh, you have to proactively bring up everything that could get in the way, every reason why they would say no, and address it head on. This is John Martinez. Hey, if you want some sales training, uh, check out our website, the Midwest Revenue Group. Uh, I train in real estate investment. I've got a team of trainers specializing in all other industries. And if you think you might be a great sales trainer, jump onto the website too because uh, we're always looking for some good professional sales trainers. See ya.